Hey folks, Rob back with another Rob Plays, and this week we keep you on the sort of less actiony bent for a bit with Pipe Mania, developed by the Assembly Line and published by Empire in 1989. Now, of course, Pipe Mania had some graphics work done by uh, Lucasfilm Games, and they handled the US publishing where they published it as Pipe Dream. Now, I actually first played this with the version that was done for the Windows Entertainment Pack, uh, good old Windows 3.1. <laughs> so, of course, the Basic idea is you need to construct a pipe. So we're playing single player, you've got a password system thankfully, but I haven't got far enough to actually get passwords. So the idea is simple. The blue bar is a countdown timer, and with that countdown timer, you need to basically be prepared. Because what happens is when that bar runs out, you have to Okay, when that bar runs out, you obviously have to deal with with the outcome, which of course is to Basically, okay, so I've got myself confused. So the idea is, you have that, you have to build this pipeline. Pipeline fills up with the flues, which is the yellow stuff. And the idea is you have the bar on the left and that's your warm up period. You've got that long to build as much of the pipe as you can before the flues launches. Now in this case, I've basically ended. So the idea is you use those pieces on the left and you pick the bottom one. You have to use that piece. It's sort of like Tetris in that regard and you put them in a line, you build the pipe. Now, once you've done that, I'm thankful at the end of stage pause now. So once you've done that, you keep cycling pieces and you build as long as you can. Later stages introduce endpoints and there's other obstacles. Now, so let's explain a bit better. So we'll go place the cross, we'll place the corners. Actually, that's not gonna work because So in this case, what we're doing is we're... All we need to do now is try to find the right piece. And this is of course important because if we don't... So you can sort of see what happens now. I'm building up this pipeline, and of course it's filling up. And obviously you've got to get as far as you can after a certain distance. You need a certain amount of distance to actually complete the stage. To complete the stage successfully. Now, of course, as I said, there are later stages where there's endpoints and certain other objects you've got to hit. Now, in this case, we've got a pipe and we can't really do anything else, so I'll just let it end. And the F key speeds that up. So, stage two done. Now, stage three has tormented me, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, so, you've got to think on your feet a bit, and you get used to it after a while. You can sort of think on your feet enough with this to think, oh, you can sort of see. That there is enough of a pattern. Now in this case. Um,
Now, of course, that's the, the thing is there's a gap there that you can bring stuff into the other side of the level. Now, I don't think I'll need that yet, but it always helps. And in this case, we are running... We're running out of... Uh, Yeah, I think we've, we've done with that one, but we've made the distance, so let's speed it up. If you actually speed it up, you do. I think you get additional points. Now, that's something you always find really weird, is it's sort of a bit of a game over, Diddy, when you complete the stage, regardless if you win or lose. So, stage four. Now, we basically have to avoid that particular object. Now, the thing is, of course, is that you if you haven't actually had the, the flues go into a section, you can actually let it... Um, oh, that's close. All right. Oh, I could... Ooh, I could do that. Cut across the map. This one's tough because I want to go down. You've got to wait for the right piece. And you always see. You... Oh, I oh, came out. Ah, oh, cool, got a password. So it's after every four stages. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's sort of like Tetris. Oh. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen this bonus stage, so... Had no idea at all what's, how this works. And I've messed up anyway because I can't... So I see what happens, you've got to put as many pieces together... Before... And of course, in this case, because I messed up, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll have to remember that for next time. This is the first time I've actually seen the bonus stage, so. Well, yeah. So, Flues runs, in this case, I actually like that that completely inverted the, the pattern. All right. Big thing as well is we've got the reservoirs now, which is going to make things interesting in their own right. Okay. Ah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, dear. I see what I've just done there. No, no. Oh, oh, game over. I can't salvage this. Oh, that is devious. <laughs> because in this case, what I've just done there is simple. There were blank tiles. Oh. <laughs> uh, Pipe Mania is quite, quite the devious little game. I really like it for that, you know. It's not the most, it's not the best presented, you know, it's kind of simplistic graphics and sound. I'm actually happy, I thought it was going to be a big multi-load as well, but you know, the controls are pretty nice, it's pretty straightforward to place pieces down. And, yeah, I think passwords after every four stages is actually better than I thought. I was, my normal play, I hadn't seen one come up, I think it's because I'd never beat level four normally, but it got a little further. And I like the way it twists things around, especially with that bonus stage. Um... This, I really like the way this game keeps throwing different things at you. It's, it's the mark of a good puzzle game. And there's a reason why it's very rightly considered a classic. It's a bit sparse looking, but it plays really well. Definitely worth checking out. So with that, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Um, there's always a review every week. And of course, there's more videos through the playlist if you browse through the links below. Um, 
if you do enjoy if you did enjoy it as well please consider leaving a thumbs up or a comment you know i hate to repeat it all the time but it does help with visibility and helps get more people watching and helps with you know let's you know if things get big i can do bigger projects on the channel um and with that of course thanks for everyone who subscribes and thanks again for watching and i will catch you next time